Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday morning here about 9.15. I'm getting ready to head up to the store for the day and uh, do some stuff up there. Also, I'm gonna go do a little shopping and maybe I will finally get around to that shop with me video. I just wanna be courteous and check with the store owner that I'm going to to make sure that they are okay with it. And then we'll go from there. I'm sure they will be because other people have done videos in there. But I want to do this haul video quick just because some of the stuff has to go to the store. And I figured, let me get it done before I take it up there. So if anybody asks about it, it's at the shop. It'll be there. You can contact the time bomb. But anyway, this is all from the last auction that we had. You'll see that video here coming up. Didn't buy a ton of stuff. I got some stuff and I didn't spend a whole lot. So I was very happy with that. But I thought, let's let's get started here and see what I bought, see what's going to go on eBay, what's going to go to the store, and we'll go from there. So I did pick up this Gorham stainless steel set. Let me just see if I can lift this whole thing here. It came like this, you saw it in the video. It's a very nice pattern to it. If you can see, it's got this very, almost simple but modern pattern to it. Stainless steel flatware sells really well for me. That's something that I've learned over the last couple of years. When I see it, I pick it up. Typically, if I don't have a whole set of it, I will, as the Philly Flipper says, when in doubt, part it out. So I will part it out and sell knives, forks, spoons, serving pieces, that kind of stuff out. So this particular set sells pretty well online. So I haven't counted it up, but I will do a count, kind of see what we have, see if we have enough to get at least a four or six piece set. Sorry, my allergies are bothering me today because of the storm we had yesterday. So we will see what that comes out to. That's gonna go on eBay. That'll be a quick and easy flip and we'll keep it moving along here. I did buy this sand and fog candle. It's tropical citrus, smells delicious. I don't, I paid like six bucks for it. This is for myself. I actually find quite a bit of useful stuff at the auction. Everybody that works there likes different candles. So we always, if they're new and unused, which we find a lot of, we put them up there and people pick them up, use them. Cleaning supplies, that's another thing we pick up. There's one of our favorite people. She's a local, she's a compulsive shopper. She loves buying high-end stuff and using it for a very short period of time or not at all. She constantly sends stuff in. That's my favorite time. All my sheets and towels and bedding usually come from her. I've gotten Christmas presents. My first Apple TV I got from her. So <laughs> I always look for useful things. This, this is a great smell. Never heard of the brand. Maybe it is something, maybe it's not, but I paid six bucks for it. So I'm gonna use it around here. This little pitcher. I don't usually buy Victorian China stuff, but this little picture spoke to me. It's got a little roughness on the chip, but it was in a tray lot. It's got a mark on the bottom there. It's just this cute little creamer, but it was so different with the design. It's very haphazard, oriental, Victorian with a little stick handle there. So that was on a tray lot. I think I paid like two or three bucks for the whole tray. So got that. Let's see here. These, these were on the tray as well. These are made in Japan. They're a bride and groom kissing couple on their original bench. You put them down and hold them up. They're adorable. They're in great shape. They actually have plastic stoppers, which surprised me. So I'm not sure if somebody replaced the stoppers at some point with the plastic ones, 
but these were the only salt and pepper shakers in the entire lot. So they must have been special to somebody. The bench is marked Japan on the bottom. There you go. So these will go on eBay. Again, great little set. So I'm going to break this lot up into two sections. These two little guys came with these other two next pieces. I'll show you this adorable little red-eyed bunny stuffed animal. It's got a tag on it. It was made in Japan. It's probably like 40s, 50s, somewhere in there. Little mohair guy. This one I'm probably going to hang on to and mix him in with the Easter decor just because he's cute with his little ear. This guy probably will go on eBay. He's got this little tongue sticking out with his original little dog collar. He's in really good shape, except for he's got some spotting down there. But he's just so stinking cute with his glass eyes. Just adorable. So he's going to go on eBay. He's just, uh, he's been loved and taken care of. So that's, and his little tongue doesn't help, doesn't hurt. Also with that came these two little games. This one I actually was playing with this morning. Uh, the dogs got me up at five to for their morning breakfast and when they wanted to go out and play in the snow. So I was kind of sitting there watching TV and playing with this thing all morning. It is missing one of the little feet to rest it. So most likely I'll throw this in the shop just so for like a buck or two, just for somebody to play with. Same with this one. It's just a cute little satellite race. So those came on the lot with the stuffed animals. Speaking of the shop, I did pick Sarah up a couple purses. Got this great black and white stripe one. It's a more modern one, but it'll still do well in the shop. It's got a great look, the black and white stripes. And then this modern green quilted one by Rachel Roy. Again, something we'll put in the shop for like 10, 12 bucks. Somebody can pick it up. It's in great shape. I don't think it was used more than once. And the main reason I bought that lot is because of this. This is a clutch, a hard clutch. It says Pavarazzi on it. These were very popular in the 90s, 2000s. They uh, took magazine covers and made them into these purses. So we'll put that in the store. It should sell pretty quick. I actually got my friend Barb one for Christmas. That was an Elvis one because she's a huge Elvis fan. So if you're watching this Barb and you didn't get that yet, surprise, you're getting an Elvis purse. But it's a great little, great design, something fun to use. So again, that'll be ending up in the shop. So I also got this fun flower power lampshade. It's a clip on one, but look at this. This is crazy. This would be great for a little table lamp or something. This is going to be headed to eBay. I mean, it's just got a great design to it. It's in great, great shape. So if you got a little lamp at home, this is going to be coming to you. I bought a bunch of linens. I always buy linens when I go to the auction. Everybody always laughs because they say they can't buy linens when they come to the auction because I end up taking them home. And I do. Not going to lie, they sell really well for me. So whenever I see them, I gravitate towards them. And nine times out of ten, they end up coming home with me and getting put online. But I got a great pair of these blue and white crocheted pillowcases. They have a great design to them. They're in great shape. There's two of them, so a pair. I also got a pair of these cherry blossom pillowcases. They have the great little green edging, but the great cherry embroidery with the flowers. Again, I have a pair of those. So there's two of them. Going to eBay. Get these out of the way. Then I got a bunch of random single pillowcases, and I'll probably put those on a lot, but like we have this yellow one here with the crocheted edge. 
We have this blue and pink one with the water lilies. That's a great look. We have this one here. It's a little rough, but, well, let me see if I can get a better shot of it. But these great embroidered little daisies on it. Some of the lace on the end is coming off, but somebody could do something with that. This great one here with the pink and green flowers. This one I don't think was quite finished yet, but for the crafters, they could do something with it. With the bird cage, it's adorable. And last but not least with that, this little pink and green floral one again. So, like I said, the pairs I'll sell as sets, and then the rest I'll list as one lot. One of my most favorite finds from the wholesale was this pair of red wing candlesticks. They have the original sticker right there. They're fantastic. They are in great shape. I don't think they were used except for to hang on a wall. Let's see. No chips, no cracks. These are awesome. Very 1950s. These will be going on eBay. I mean, look at them. They just have these, these pointy spikes and these crazy... And the fact that it still has the original sticker on them, that, that amazes me. Most of that stuff got peeled off the day it came in the door. But they're, all, they're marked red wing on the back as well. So these will be hitting the eBay store. Let's see. I'm going to reach a second. I picked up this Fenton Hobnail Iridescent Opalescent Candlestick Bowl. It might be the bottom of an e-pern. It was, it's the 95th anniversary piece. So I haven't done any checking on this. Kind of want to figure out if it's just a candlestick bowl or if it's an e-pern bottom. Didn't pay very much for this. So I'm going to list this on eBay. But again, great, great color. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day coming up or spring. Just to have this sitting on a table with some eggs in it or something. It's fantastic. And it's got this great sheen to it. So do a little research, figure out what it's for, and then put it on eBay. Now, these pink ceramic candles came in the candlesticks they don't go with them they were a close match but there's definitely a different shade of pink probably made in japan they're in pretty good shape they need to be cleaned up i'm going to list these on ebay i'm sure somebody out there is looking for them they're they're pretty neat a couple little boobers on the flowers but for being 60 years old i'm sure you know you would have a couple boobers too so great design, great, and here, let me stick one in here, just in case you want to purchase them together. You can see it's kind of a match, but a little off. Let's see here, what else did I buy? I also got a bunch of hankies. These were in a lot. There's all sorts of different ones. There's a violet. There's another floral one. There's a blue one. This is how I found them. There's a nice black embroidered one. Cute one with the ladybugs. Oh, flamingo dancer. But here's a couple, a couple unused ones that are just folded up in their paper. And then some basic white ones. I didn't pay very much for this, a couple bucks. So what I typically do is I will hold on to them. I put them in a, what I call the hanky box. And once I get enough hankies in there, I do lots of like 50 on eBay. I am eyeballing, my friend Nicole and I have both been eyeballing. A guy has a bunch of vintage linens listed on Facebook Marketplace locally. But the price point is way out there. So I may or may not reach out to him, make him an offer on everything, see if he takes it. I'm not sure how motivated he is. 
Um, not sure if he's doing this for resale or just trying to liquidate stuff and it's just taking a guess at stuff. But if I do, I'll probably group stuff in, in lots and sell it on eBay. Now, with the linen lot, I got this very unusual, and I'll take a picture and insert it here, of what it is. I believe it is an advertising tablecloth for a brand of solid cologne. It's made of like this sheer sheen fabric. Wanna say based on it, 30s, 40s. But I'll take a picture of the whole thing. You'll see it. And this will go on eBay. This is kind of an interesting piece. There is some staining on it, but I'm gonna let the next person who comes along figure that out. I I try to get stuff washed, but in a situation like this where you have this material, I really don't want to push it and, and ruin it. So I'll let the experts handle it. So I got, I got to show you this. It is, it's a cruel of mushrooms. The glare, there we go. This was out in the furniture room. I showed it in the preview. Originally, I had said only go to this certain price. Then I saw people looking at it and I said, no, go to this. And I'm glad I did because I got it for the price, the second price I left it for. This most likely will go on eBay, obviously. Um, I love it. This is going to be hot seller. It was made by Nanny Schultz. So somebody's nanny made this. It's in a great frame. It's in fantastic shape. Beautifully done. So this will be going on eBay. And last but not least, I did pick up the Double Decker Carousel by, I think it's by Mr. Christmas. Oh, it's Original Classics. So I took this out of the box, plugged it in, made sure it worked. I got it for a really good price and they sell on eBay for like 150 to 250. So we're gonna probably list it somewhere right in the middle, but it does work, it does move. It's a little big to ship, but I'll, I don't mind buying a box for it and getting it out there. So that's pretty much what I got at the state auction last time we went. Not a whole lot, but I think I did pretty well. And I'm going to get this stuff listed and get it out there. So you guys watching, if you're interested, you can buy it. The links for my eBay store, my Instagram, my website are all listed down below. The links for the auction house are listed in the auction video. If you're local, we do them every Monday, weather permitting, obviously this time of year. So make sure you check them out. Again, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps us immensely growing the channel. Like the videos. If you have any comments or have any questions about anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can always email us at vintagesamples at gmail.com. Check out the time bomb. It's Miss Ruth's time bomb located at 24 North Hanover Street in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Follow them on social media as well. They're always posting cool stuff. Again, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.